Hi and welcome to this video on Tower Basics and in this video we're going to look at the basic functions of towers and how we gain access to towers. So I'm just going to press pause in the top right hand corner and we're going to look across the top at the towers. Now each tower has a mineral cost attached to it so the laser tower is 10 mineral, pulse 20, arc 30, freeze mine is 40 mineral, the atom gun is 60 mineral, blast mine 70, and finally the sonic tower is 100 mineral. Now you can see here that some of the towers or mines are greyed out. Now the reason for that can be one of two things. It can either be we don't have enough mineral to purchase that tower, and we can look down here and we can see we've got plenty of mineral, or alternatively it means that the space station has not been upgraded to the correct level in order to gain access to these particular towers and mines. So if I just look across at the space station, I can see that the space station has not been upgraded at all. So I'm going to press play, and I'm going to tap on the space station, and I'm going to press upgrade. I'm just going to press pause again. Now the space station is at upgrade status 1, you can see that we have access to the atom tower and we also have access to the blast mine. I'm going to press play again and upgrade the tower to its final status. And we now have access to the sonic tower. We've got plenty of mineral down here, so we can purchase all of these towers. Now, in order to use a tower, what we do is we actually um, press on the icon itself. So we press on here and drag with our finger until we place the tower. Now, as soon as we start to drag, the actual interface across the top will move out of the way and give access to the game board. So, all of the towers, what happens when you actually drag a tower down, it will check to make sure that you're not closing a path off. That means if I took an atom tower and tried to place it here, for example, then that's not allowed because the vehicles cannot reach the end of the board. At that point, the graphics surrounding the tower will reduce in size and we'll see that in a moment. For mines, the freeze mine and the blast mine, uh, we can place them anywhere on the game board and that's because vehicles can travel over mines which means they're not blocking a path off. So if I just press play here I'm dragging down a blast mine and as I drag it down you see what happens all of the vehicles now are just hitting that blast mine and now they're blowing up. If, for example, I try to drag down the atom tower, as I said before, and place it here, you'll see what happens is the actual graphic surrounding it, we'll see that with a pulse, just reduces. The second point to note is as I drag a tower, if I try to place it in an area where it cannot go, you'll see that it actually changes from green to red. And this indicates that we can't place the tower there, and what will happen then is the tower will just disappear. But this won't cost you anything in terms of the mineral, so you won't lose anything. If you're trying to place a tower and you don't want it, you'd actually now have decided, well, I'm moving it around, I don't want this tower. You have one of two options. You can either just place it onto an area where it can't go, or alternatively, you place a second finger onto the screen and that will immediately cancel the drag option. Now, what you'll also notice is as I drag around, you can see the graphics surrounding the tower, and this shows me, or gives me a representation, of the range of that tower. So if I place this tower here, for example, I can see that the vehicle below it is in range, and I can start to shoot at it. You can see that the Atom Tower has a strange range pattern. That's because it's on its... Um, uh, axes across, left, right, up and down, it can fire much further. So that's the tower basics and in another video we're going to look at each tower and its individual functionality.